Hey everybody, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to take any movie file, MKV, AVI, MPEG, uh, MP4, or whatever, and take that movie and put it on a DVD on a Mac, uh, just in case you have a DVD system in your car. My kids requested new movies instead of going out and buying them. We have tons of files, uh, even ISO files, uh, that we can put onto a DVD and throw it in the car. So quickly I'm going to show you. There's an app and it's called One Click DVD Maker. And it's right here. You can get it from the Mac App Store for free for trial basis. And what's nice about it is you can add whatever file you want, whatever video file you want. And I'll show you that now. So you can say we want to do Big Hero 6 MKV. They can't just throw it on a DVD uh, as a file and then think you can play it in the DVD player. You can't. So you're going to hit open. It's going to open it and you can edit the video so that you can change the size. You can trim it, crop it, and put even a watermark on it. Change the brightness, saturation, hue, all that stuff. And then when you're done, you can go into audio track and you could set your language to whatever audio language that you have and um, change the volume so that you can play it plays loud um, and you could change the encoder and the bit rate so that's nice and then we can go here and subtitle and uh, what's nice is if you have the subtitle uh, a lot of times when you download a movie it comes with a SRV or SRT uh, and that's the subtitle so you just pretty much hit the plus sign find the SRT and uh, import it in there and then you'll have subtitle and you can set it for different languages and and um, set it for different colors the font and, and all that stuff and where it's located the font size and all that stuff so that's good and then you can go into uh, preferences and you can have NTSC or PAL uh, you can change it to 16.9 or 4.3 depending on what DVD player screen you're going to be using it, your resolution, and then you save for a temporary file, I say desktop, and then you can do a snapshot of a, of a picture so you can use it as a cover, but we don't have to worry about that. And then pretty much you hit the uh, destination and we're going to save it, at, you can save it as a DVD folder, that's that audio and video uh, the T, TS file, or you could do it as an ISO, I do it as an ISO because then I use disk utility and throw it right on. So after it's said and done, you, you hit the burn and then it, it starts burning. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I don't have a disk in right now, but you can pretty much create DVD, creates the title, the folder, and then makes the ISO file. So we're going to hit cancel because I already did one and I'll show you what that looks like. So here's the DVD ISO. And if you wanted to just play the ISO right on your computer, you could just right mouse button and open it with an app like VLC. So you open it up with VLC, and this is exactly what it looks like. Uh, you could, you know, have change that name when you're in the program. I forgot to do that, but pretty much you just hit the title, and then the movie will start playing. Uh, now, if you wanted to burn this to the DVD, you could do that too. And uh, what you do is you go into search, you type in Disk Utility, and we'll open up Disk Utility. And then you'll find that, fi that file. Just take the, the ISO and just put it right over here. To my DVD ISO, you can put in whatever hard drive you have. So if you throw a disk in, I have an external um, DVD drive. And then all we're going to do is just hit the burn button and it's going to save maximum possible speed and we're going to hit burn and it automatically will burn it right to the DVD that's in your drive there so it's going to open it up and it's going to write the track and after it's done writing you'll have a DVD uh, that you can pop into a DVD player and it basically will look just like this up on the screen and you, all you do is hit the play button or you can hit click on the picture and it'll start playing. So that's how you take any video file and make it into a DVD. 
I'll burn it to a DVD to watch on any DVD player. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.